So our next step we'll be doing is the negative coronoplasty, or you can also call it equilibration. And if you notice these areas through the red paint here, here, and here, here, and here, and up here, we're going to be contouring those. Now, you've already done most of this work in the lab. You've already done an equilibration on the models one time. So what we do is we're actually going to be marking these directly in the mouth and doing about 80% of it before we check. And we've added 8 and 9 so we have a nice final uh, vertical dimension jig that we'll be using. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm just going to dry the teeth gently. And then with a Sharpie, we're going to actually transfer our marks from the model onto the tops of the teeth. So we know we're going to be doing a little equilibration right here. And there's that cuss tip of number four. We're going to be doing a little equilibration right here. and the distal area back here. So what we've done is we've taken this area here and if you look closely we've transferred that exact area onto this tooth. We've taken that area and transferred it exactly onto this tooth. We've taken that area and transferred it exactly onto the other tooth. Okay, so now it's just a matter of lightly rounding these areas just like you did on the models one time already. Now it's important to whenever possible to use a straight burr and not a football diamond or football carbide because you want to create convexities not concavities when you're doing the equilibration. So we have a carbide burr and all we're going to do is just very gently just take off the Sharpie mark that you put on here. Now you've already done this one time on the models, so you should have a pretty good idea of how much shaping you've already done. You're okay with this, Riley? No problems, right? Okay. And it's better to under-equilibrate under than over-equilibrate, so we're going to stop there. And we're basically going to be doing that to the other four teeth done is completed about 80% of the equilibration and now we're putting shims on the front and we're going to be using the shims and eventually when we have good occlusion on 8 and 9 to do the final uh, adjustment into position. So when she bites down, medium hard squeeze, you can see we have contact here, open please, bite down, squeeze medium hard and no contact in the back. I'm gonna have so we're going to be uh, taking one shim off at a time and doing the final equilibration into CR. We have eight micron shim hold on all the teeth, right side, left side, and the anteriors. And we'll have her back for a final check after her muscles get a chance to rest. And open.